is be born, and nothing but happiness come to your door. And may you love God wherever you go, the blessings of number the shamrocks that grow. May when the eyes of God are born, the sun of the old is bright and cold. May when the eyes of God are born, the blessings of number the shamrocks that grow. One thing that is maybe extraordinary, different from other educations, is that we don't teach, um, which sounds weird for an educational institution. But I hope that we are focusing on the terrain, if I can call it that, everything around um, the person that has come here to learn, um, so that they can uh, find their own questions, live with those questions, and find their own answers if they so need those. Um, but that we don't prepare and feed answers to questions that people might never have or don't need to have for their life. It's uh, trying to to get more self-confidence and really learn the things uh, about myself, what I appreciate. Because sometimes I have the feeling a lot of people appreciate uh, appreciate me, but sometimes it's really a question for me, why do they appreciate me? So I really want to see it myself. Meeting myself and being able to um, develop myself through others or through meeting others. Yes, I just really love being with people. <laughs> One thing that really inspires me, I think, is the nature around us. When I go for a walk in the woods, I am so amazed by the lichen that I see and the mosses and the mushrooms and the plants that I see. It helps me to create and to be inspired. My question was how do we help each other change to be more ethical and notice the we part of it because it's about all of us. It's not me projecting this onto anybody else. It's about all of us helping each other to be more ethical together. Um, and so this is what it looks like. To change the world to a better place by asking the question, uh, what is needed right now for myself, for the people that surround me, and also for, for nature, I guess. Um, yeah, so I'm, I think that will do a big impact already. <laughs> is a lot about social situations and different context. So normally we interact with each other in a work environment or just at a party or just in specific environments and not necessarily at other times. But when you live in community with people, you get to know them a lot better and see a lot of different sides of them because you're interacting with them in multiple different environments. My favorite place on campus is up in the forest. There's um, this place you reach where you come out of the trees and up onto the rocks and you've got a full view of the fjord and also the fields and the trees and the campus. Um, and it's a really, really beautiful spot to watch the sunset or the moon rise out of the water and you feel like you're just in the middle of the forest but you've got a view of the world. It's a really nice spot to sit and draw or talk to people, have a picnic or just um, yeah, sit by yourself and I, I really, really like it there. How can we create what we do want to become? And that feels really exciting and really inspiring to me to imagine the images of the future and what the potential that we have. We have so much potential as human beings. Like, how can, what is it, like, imagine what we could create as community if we're working together, if we're in, in places like Yip. Imagine the things that are possible. Favorite spot on the campus, it's the fjord. And we go, or a small group of us, we go swimming here every morning. The most beautiful part about it is that it's literally different every day we come here. Sometimes it's really calm, a little muddy, sometimes it's really clear. Then the sun comes out and it's amazing. And it's a refreshment and it's really addictive to go swimming. How can I share what was given to me in um, my childhood or in the time I grew up, how can I share that with others? So, for example, if I feel I'm quite privileged in that I 
got uh, to experience this or that, how can I gift it to others as well? So, yeah, when I came to, the reason why I came to YIP was uh, a lot behind the educational system in the UK. I've got like a big pull towards trying to make a, a change and I don't really know, I never really have known how that was going to look or how I was going to go about it or what sector I was going to really push towards. Um, but the idea of coming to YIP was to really tool me up and get me ready um, for that or give me a direction on where I want to go and so far it has given me that. Probably to grow and be more open and just acknowledge that there's different paths in the world that I can take and acknowledge that the one that I initially set for myself isn't permanent and I think I've really been feeling that since being here and it's just I feel like it's opened so many possibilities and new doors and different doors for me that I can go through and just the amount of different things that we do here from from gardening to learning about governance and activism and of course movement and it it just it's so exciting to be in a place where there's so much to just learn and absorb there's this place if you walk down the road uh, down the dirt road between the, the cow pastures at the farm, at the Nibla farm, and you enter the woods and you keep walking for quite a long while um, through past the roots and the, the mossy rocks, you will find a small clearing. But yes, in this small clearing, everything disappears. The sound of the highway, um, often any sound, even the sound of your thinking kind of disappears. My source of inspiration is conversation with people. We have a lot of chance to share our thoughts and ideas during the lecture and breakfast time and lunch time, anytime. Then I get a lot of questions about myself and this world. So this conversation is grow me up more and think about like how do I stand in the world. So, I usually get the inspiration from people. How can I integrate my mental, emotional, and physical ways um, all together to create a balanced way of living for me? Because I feel like, yeah, we're living in a society where there is a lot of thinking and that maybe it's not good to feel a lot or just to feel. And if not, it's just a lot about doing and keep doing and doing and doing. So I feel like by integrating that, um, I feel like it will be really helpful and nice for me. For me, it expands my horizon in terms of life. Before I came here, I only used to use my thought part and think deeply what I need to do for my next career. But after coming here, I can meet various keywords about life. I can reflect what aspect I want to develop and what points of view is suit for me. It expands my possibility of life and also it is good motivation to contribute the world. Learning at YIP is about learning more than just through taking in information in this kind of way that we conceive of traditional education. It's about learning also through doing and through talking and through feeling and experiences um, and living in community. I think that's a really big one is, yeah, being with 36 other people so much of the time and having these experiences together and then being given this material to work with. It feels like, yeah, you bump up against each other and things come up and then you work through it and you talk through it. Making lunch for the yippies gives me the opportunity to practice my skill set making food for lots of people, um, hang out with lovely individuals, have health conversations after lunch and be with my child while making an income at the same time. I think the reason why I um, yeah, decided to volunteer here in YIP was to go through the cycle of YIP again and then to really see and experience what is 
how did a team create such an environment? And, but also I feel like working here as volunteer is not only like me giving something to the participants, but it's more about like interactive. I think one of the most important things is to um, work and live together with a group of young people from all over the world who all bring their own questions and interests and concerns and to see how they individually develop the things that they bring but also how they kind of consciously or unconsciously encourage each other to develop the questions and the, the thoughts that they have. So what happens in each individual as well as what happens in between um, and how that does reflect the individual and the collective and how what happens in the collective reflects in the individual. Um, I think what would be really lovely is if Yippies could, if a Yip participant could stand with a knowledge of how important their authentic contribution is to the world and to stand knowing that what they offer is unique and offered by no other human being no matter what they're doing or where they are so that they have trust and faith in their own position and place in this world and universe and I think another thing would be that they are really able to know that all other people also have that unique contribution to be made and they've felt this diversity and what celebrating diversity can be and what building something with people who are very different from you how that can create something really new really unique and really needed in the world Living, learning, unfolding, inclusive, exploration, group dynamic, liveliness, mind-blowing, beautiful, <laughs> blooming, relations, new beginning, journey, yard plunges, apple tree, chaotic, interest, intense, cohesion, joy, love, wonder, co-creation, life, platform, challenging, observation, exploration, dynamic, Harmony. Intense. Creativity. Radiant. Grand. Interaction. Hope. A lot. <laughs> <laughs>